Welcome back to the BTS vlog. Well, the segment of the BTS vlog, anyways. <sighs> Today's gonna be another one of those really long days. I'll give you a time and date stamp and give you an idea of where we are. We're kind of midday right now. It is three hours and seven minutes into the day of Sunday, November 30th, 2014. Yeah, we're just about closing up the month of November. And so I got a really long night tonight. So they won't be getting back to bed until about uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. And I got up. Uh, I think was it? Uh, I think six o'clock. I got up. So six to six is twelve hours. Six to noon is another six hours. That's eighteen hours. Uh, plus another three to three o'clock in the afternoon. We're looking at just about uh, twenty hours. Uh, just about uh, yeah. Six to six is uh, twelve hours. Six to noon is another six hours. That's eighteen hours. Plus another three. It's uh, twenty-one hours. So I'm in for a twenty-one hour day today. Uh, these day, th these length of days are r rather rough on me, and so we'll, we'll see how I end up on uh, Monday. Uh, well, then, you know, <sighs> I will kind of determine where things go from here on out. But anyway, the video, video schedule is coming along. It's it's not progressing as I, I thought, which is typical. I mean, nothing ever goes as I plan it to go. Um, there are always uh, hang-ups, there's always issues that need, that need to be dealt with and things that could be done better uh, that sort of slow things up a little bit. And these are all the, sort of the status quo things. You know. So, uh, what has to be done is that, uh, you know, this week I have to finish up the, the uh, filming for this week. And then start planning the videos for next week, you know, um, right on the heels as I finish this. Basically, uh, from week to week, with the research and the video, there's not really going to be m that much of a break in between. As soon as I finish one, uh, I need to be working on the next one. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the way things go. <laughs> um, so that's about it for now. Uh, I just finished making some sausages in the kitchen diner. I did. What, what I like to do is I like, I like to put sausages on the pizza, the pizza that I make. And what I do is I buy these raw sausages. Uh, the, uh, uh, they're a nice Italian type of sausage. And then I do a uh, just about a two and a half hour roast uh, in, in a bunch of spices and uh, hot peppers. So the flavors of the of, of the the vegetables and the spices, the herbs, go into the sausage and flavor the sausage. So when you slice them up for pizza and you put them on a pizza that flavor really comes through and so that's kind of the way I did my sausages right now they're cooling in the fridge and then I think I'm gonna make a, a pizza sub in a few minutes uh, just so I have enough energy to get get myself through the day so you know uh, yeah that's about it for now <laughs> um, yeah if I gonna need if I think of anything more to talk about I'll come back and we'll have a bit of a chat. <laughs> Anyways, all right, take it easy and goodbye. Well, hello everybody, welcome back. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlogs. Let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 
23 hours and 23 minutes into the day of Monday, December 1st, 2001, uh, 2014. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Monday, December 1st, 2014. Um, it's the first official day of uh, Vlogmas. Although I count, uh, I count Black Friday as part of Vlogmas, so uh, <laughs> that's kind of where I go with that. Um, you know, I think they're going all right. I'm a little slow, and it's, it's taking it's a bit of a learning curve to get the notes done for the new video series. It, and that's what kind of where the lag is. I am putting up more videos per week than I did before. So that has improved. That's actually improved. But I'm not where I need to be in order to really be sort of, as I say, moving along uh, uh, sort of comfortably uh, with the uh, with the sort of the note taking in terms of dealing with creating the show notes. Uh, doing the research is not a problem. It's it's taking the research and condensing it into the uh, uh, 15 minute segments and bringing out. It, bringing out the uh, research in the right flow in the right manner so that you can have some degree of understanding uh, over a period of time of what's actually going on. Now there's too much information, there's too much research to actually put everything all in all at once and I think that kind of will overload the person. Uh, but if you do it over a period of time then that's alright. It's, it's, a, it's a better way to sort of digest it. But the thing is, is you've got to keep your audience engaged. This is something you've got to sort of uh, work on in terms of uh, your presentation, how uh, the ideas are presented, and whether or not people will come back and watch the video again. Uh, and that's sort of where the next challenge is, sort of, you know, uh, getting more exposure uh, for the videos, getting more views for the video. I mean, I'm up to uh, if I do good enough work. If I do good enough work, I'm up to about eight views. But uh, it's got, it, the new stuff is doing better. The new stuff is doing better, uh, but it's the other stuff. It's the research stuff that really has. Um, uh, there's a struggle there. But uh, again, we're new to this. This is something new. Uh, putting out the, the the research videos is is uh, the, the Insta vlogs. That's something new. It's gonna take a while to work at, and then once uh, I get the format done right in terms of getting used to. Uh, doing the scripts and putting the, the information in the way it needs to be going in, then I think things will start moving along better like that, and that will, that's kind of put it'll put us in the position where we need to be. So, and the thing is, I uh, I should be working on fixing up the uh, back the back uh, warehouse, and that means uh, toys DIY should be coming online pretty soon. Uh, kitchen diner is going to take a little bit longer. There's a little bit more work to do in there. Uh, it's a more complicated thing uh, for the kitchen dining to do that, uh, but still, we'll see what happens and see when, how many episodes I can get out this year. The goal is uh, in, in in 2015 is to get uh, the kitchen diner out of the BTS logs and into a season zero, and the same thing with toys DIY get into season zero. And then once we're in season zero, we'll we'll struggle with the issues once they're in season zero. This, once the season zero, we'll, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. We'll struggle with the season zero issues once we're in season zero. So the whole point now is getting the, the new shows into season zero. Once they're in season zero, uh, start working out the uh, bugs and uh, and uh, issues. And then the thing is, and that means also getting the, uh, Beauty and the Geek back online, uh, Ubuntu BSD and Sektau. In other words, what, bit by bit, getting everything back and working again. Uh, and that's gonna, that's a bit of work to do that. There's a bit of a stretch there. It's, it all matters on the workflow, how efficient I am at my workflow, and that still needs to be worked at. So it's better than it was before, but not where it needs to be right now. So still things to work on. Anyways, uh, on with the rest of the day, and I will see you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs. All right, take it easy. Well, now seems as good a time as any to vlog. So let's get started. Uh, we are now in starting. We're now within Vlogmas. We're in our second day of Vlogmas, and my Vlogmas is a little longer than everybody else's because, well, 
uh, my vlog, my Christmas ends on uh, it's basically about January 20th. So uh, we'll be vlogging, doing vlogmas all the way to January 20th. Anyways, uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 23 hours and 17 minutes into the day of Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. Yeah, um, where are we now? I'm still doing some work trying to resolve uh, problems with uh, with uh, the editing system. Uh, it's some, for some reason, the, the videos seem to be jerky again. It, 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 it was fine for a while, then all of a sudden... It went back to being jerky again. So the question is, well, what's going on? You know, what causes uh, this result? And so I have to sort of sit back and take a look and sort of see, you know, you know, you know, what is the cause? Where, where, where is the problem when we're dealing with uh, 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 video editing? Uh, and we get uh, jerky videos where, where, where parts of it drop out. There's there's cuts where there, there shouldn't be cuts. Uh, I viewed the videos on my uh, on my laptop and they seem to be fine, but on YouTube they seem to have uh, a bit of a problem. So I don't know whether it's the streaming problem or whether it's something else. Uh, uh, it, it's going to take a bit of time to sort of debug this and sort of really get these things sort of sorted out. Uh, but in the meantime, I am working on uh, some new animation. <sighs> I'm going to try that out for a bit, try to do some animation uh, on my system here, because eventually I want to do uh, more graphics, more interactive graphics with the video. Uh, and in order to have the more dynamic graphics, the interactive graphics, uh, you really do have to learn a little bit about animation. You have to learn about how things are sequenced uh, and how to sort of move graphics in and move graphics out of the uh, frame here. I mean, I've got basic graphics right here. To, to, to my left, I've got some very basic graphics here. Uh, but, uh, that's sort of just the beginning. That's the beginning of these things, so. Uh, there's nothing else much really to say right now. It's, uh, beginning of the night. I'm a little tired. It's midweek, though. So it's almost, well, it's going to be Wednesday in a little bit, so. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I think I'll probably take a bit of a rest for now, and then, uh, come back and we'll continue working on later on. Uh, so... Because my eyes are starting to close forcefully. I can't keep them open, really. So, I'm going to leave that here for now. It'll be short for today. And I will see you in the next segment of the BTS, BTS Vlogs. All right. Take it easy. Well, hello, everybody. It's time for another segment of the BTS Vlogs. Hey. Oh, uh, we're ready to go from here. <laughs> Uh, time and date stamp. It is 22 hours and 39, 39 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, December 3rd, 2014. That means it's the third day of Vlogmas. And, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do I say? It, yesterday was, uh, well, not yesterday, but I just got up now. Uh, around, uh, just around uh, 10 o'clock I got up. But I didn't go to bed until about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, I slept from 2 p.m. to about 10 p.m. Uh, that's about 8 hours. That was my night. So yesterday for me was still earlier today. Uh, I ended up going food shopping at the end of the day. But I ended up doing a lot of research to start pushing my notes ahead. Uh, so that I can get my filming sort of on track. And there's just a, a lot, a lot of stuff out there. Some of the stuff is uh, rather disturbing because I'm doing the news now, so there's a lot of stuff that's in the news that's, that's unbelievably disturbing. Uh, and you will be seeing stronger views from me on on, on the on the news broadcast, and you will see anywhere else. It's, it's, people say, "Well, you know, you've got to be polite. You've got to consider the situation." Well, no, you don't. I mean, if something's wrong, then it's wrong, and. Uh, it needs to be stated. And that, that, that's very simple the way it is. If something is wrong, then it's wrong. You know, and, and the thing is, it doesn't matter. It's one of the issues that we're touching on that, that popped up a lot and can track this in, into, into India is the use of rape in war. Uh, it's a hideous thing. It's, it, and the thing is, it's not restricted to one side or the other. Both sides are guilty of it. And it's got to stop. 
that's basically it. You got to try. You know, if we're going to try to figure out how to have a better world, then this whole thing of uh, rape during war, uh, in rape in period, has to stop. We have to start trying to figure out a way to, you know, to start having some sense of decency. And the thing is, not this is not even, and I hate to use the term decency because it's not an issue of decency. It's an issue of how others are treated. I mean, are you of that mind that you have no soul, no conscience to do something like that? I mean, this is something that, that this is something that is in many ways beyond me. I, I don't understand how a person can think like that. But in many cases they do and they don't care. They don't care who it is on the other side that's getting hurt. I mean, this is the case in part with, with, with Obama. Obama came with a lot of promises and everything like that. He's got his idea that he wants to have a legacy for himself. Well, he's going to have a legacy for himself. He's going to go down in history as one of the worst presidents of the United States in history. You know, it's th this is where you know, he was supposed to be a peacemaker. He was supposed to be a person who was to hold back the, the sword and not use her. He was sort of be the ultimate diplomat. But he's not doing that. I mean, he's got more wars going on than, than George Bush did. He's involved in more places than George Bush is. Buzz. And that's George W. Bush. And this is this is true from a lot of the Democrats. The Democrats don't call them, don't call these things war. They're called policing actions. And this is about bringing law and justice to a particular land. In other words, they're the sheriff. They're coming in. And they're going to fix the thing, fix all these problems up. But they never do. Uh, there's a lot of self-serving, and then again, there's a lot of again. Uh, on both sides of the thing, it, 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 there's a lot of, uh, of of rape and war, and you know I said, these things are rather disturbing. And so when you get into the research of the get, get into the research research of the psychology, and the psychology of abuse, and see that uh, not only is this uh, 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 abuse occurring in war, but now it's being stated as normal and being brought into the classroom by a premier who is essentially a pedophile, and then she state, well, this is what Sweden has done. And yes, Sweden has done that, but Sweden also has a history of pedophilia. They are known for having an open view of sexuality where that includes, that includes underage children. You know, well, not underage, that includes children. They don't have a problem with adu adults and children having sex. Uh, they have had ma they, you can find magazines to that effect. If you're of that type of persuasion, if, in fact, if you're a pedophile, the place you go is Sweden. You, you go to Sweden and the Netherlands. That's the place that, that that has this open open policy, and it's known like this. It, it, from the from a person who who is who is not sexually active, uh, and I don't believe in sex. I believe in love. Uh, then. This is something that Sweden is infamous infamous for, but Sweden seems to be proud of this. They seem that this is one of their badges that we are we are an open society. And so, if this is what it is, if Sweden is proud of this, then why not call all Sweden pedophi pedophiles? It's a nation of pedophiles. You know, give it that time. If this is what they're proud of, then well, you know, that's that's your title now. That's your moniker. But anyways, uh, you know, I've got another day of uh, research and scripts ahead of me. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, but things are going very well. The video editing is doing okay. I'm resolving some problems. And, but the thing is that it's a long time between pro resolve, uh, resolving problems. It's got, it takes about four and a half hours to upload. So, well, you know, and that causes a bit of a problem. But uh, it's an issue of working out time. Uh, and that's our time bell, and that means our time is now up. And I'll be seeing you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs to let you know what's kind of going on here. And, you know, more and more is going to be happening, so <laughs> stay tuned. Alrighty, take it easy. <laughs>
Yeah, it's time for another segment of the BTS logs. Um, let's see, time and date stamp. That's her uh, immediate concern. It's 22 hours and 9 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, December 4th, 2014. That's me. This means it's the fourth day of Vlogmas. And, well, many people are going to be vlogging to the 25th of December. Not me. I will be vlogging until uh, the 20th of January, right? which is, that's when Christmas ends for me. So, for those, I am, I'm a Christmas person. For those of people who like Christmas, uh, you can stretch your Christmas out to, to January 20th. Because uh, that's officially when Christmas ends. If you want to go into a lot of the different details, uh, it gets a little complicated. Oh, but basically, the length of time that the Christian church has been around, there are two Christmases. There is one on the 25th, which is the new Christmas. And then there is one on January 7th, which is the old Christmas. And under the old Christmas, uh, Christmas lasts after... From starting from the day of, uh, starting the day after the, starting the day after Christmas Day, then you have the twelve days of Christmas, which takes you to a the uh, baptism of Christ, which is in Greek is known as Phota, and because I am Greek, I'm uh, of Greek Syrian background, we celebrate uh, the the Eastern tradition, the Eastern tra tradition, and but our celebration of Christmas starts on basically December 1st so uh, rather than having just 25 days of Christmas or, or, or Vlogmas we now have uh, we'll see 30 plus 20 just about 50 days of Christmas so uh, I think it's <laughs> I, if you're a Christmas person and you want to take that much time for Christmas then you know that's what you do keep your decorations up you know uh, and you know, make your foods, whatever you know, however you celebrate uh, Christmas. Ooh. You know, do that with Vlogmas as well. You know, Vlogmas is the vlogger celebration of Christmas. So, yeah, I just got some uh, Clintus TV here uh, scheduled to watch. It's right in front of me. I haven't watched it yet. I'm starting to do the shout outs now. The shout outs are going out on a more regular basis. Um. Uh, I'm still working out some of the details on these things. Uh, so I'm trying to do a uh, take a note here. So I know what I talked about and when. So yeah, I like I there's I've got enough channels like Clintus TV, Bertelli, uh Mommy and Grace. I've got enough channels now that I actually prefer the content produced by these people over the content on Disney and, and uh, Nickelodeon. Uh, compare, let's say, a family show like The Thundermans or uh, uh, Haunted Hathaway, stuff like that. I think Clintus TV actually and, and the other shows like that actually beat, uh, in terms of, from my viewing uh, uh, perspective, I you know, Clintus TV and the Mommy and Grace, Bertelli, they all beat. I like them better than than uh, uh, the regular TV shows. And so I come by on a regular basis. This is my, sort of my regular viewing. Uh, and this is well, I'm taking my notes. And this is the thing that the the, the the sort of astonishing thing is that my notes are coming along. Uh, I'm keeping my filming up. Uh, if you've been watching the channel at all, or taking, paying attention to the channel at all, at all you're, you would have noticed that the number of uploads I'm doing has increased significantly. Significantly, uh, I'm going to be doing uh, at least uh, this week. I'll be doing at least four uploads. Uh, I've resolved an, uh, I've sort of resolved an issue on the editing bay, and I'm still trying to sort of tweak things and get things to work better, but. You know, this is kind of the way things are, and <laughs> uh, working on things bit by bit. Anyways, uh, I've got some filming to do tonight. I've got a lot more work, uh, but I will take a little bit of a nap first. 
today I'm getting a little tired. I'll take a, like a power nap for about an hour, an hour and a half. Then come back. I've got two or three videos to film tonight. So it's about three hours of filming. And then I'll knock it off and uh, do the editing tomorrow and uploading as well. So uh, I think that's about it for now. I will talk to you guys uh, later. Uh, next time I'm on the BTS vlog, so yeah. Alright, take it easy and goodbye. Democratic Earth. Earth.